This is an official audio log from Reformation Abroad. Salutations and a very friendly hello from your friends at the Global Protection Agency. With our Reformation Abroad program, we've teamed up with prison reform organizations across North America to offer the opportunity of a lifetime for those incarcerated. Those lucky inmates will be tasked with removing highly classified global waste by firing crates of these people, uh, um, this waste into a black hole. To find out more about this trustworthy and ecologically virtuous program, be sure to check out Reformation Abroad wherever you listen to your podcasts. Hi, I'm Jennifer, a founder of the Go Kid Go Network. At Go Kid Go, putting kids first is at the heart of every show that we produce. That's why we're so excited to introduce a brand new show to our network called The Search for the Silver Lining, a fantasy adventure series about a spirited young girl named Isla who time travels to the mythical land of Camelot. Look for The Search for the Silver Lining on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. 11th Hour Audio presents Living Canvas. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the studio. It's good to have you here. This is Living Canvas. Now, today, got a real special treat for you. We're going to create a painting that's going to open up a whole new world for you, okay? We're going to start here with the sky, all right? Let's uh, start with the sky in the beginning and all that, right? Let's get some paint on the brush here. Let's get some paint right here on the brush. That's right. Okay. And then we're going to start up here and just... Just let's get some melancholy blue, and right here, we'll get it all over the brush and just gently, gently touch the canvas. That's right. Spread that melancholy all over. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks pretty tidy right there. Now, let's get uh, let's get some. Uh, oh yeah, let's have some clouds here. Okay, let's pick up some spectral white and create some clouds. Just ever so softly, okay, swirling the white on top of the sky, nice and fluffy, there you go, yeah, yeah, it's okay, see, it's okay that you see some blue underneath here, okay, since the clouds are passing through, just passing through, yep, coming on through there, yeah, now, just here at the bottom of the clouds, we're just going to Tap out some highlights, okay? We're going to use some darker colors, some despair gray. Now, maybe here in this world, these these clouds are thunderheads, okay? There you go. There you go. Tap that dark color. Mm, got some storm clouds. Hmm. Maybe some, some foreshadowing, you know? Like there's a storm on the way. That's right, just gently tapping. Tapping. And there. Okay. Listen, now we want to build our forest. <laughs> you hear those cats running around in my studio. Oh, they're a trip. Got one right next to me here. My girl Willa. Say hi, Willa. Oh, she's just staring out into space and zoning out there. Okay. Now, let's clean the brush up first, okay? Just dip it into the paint thinner here and then, then shake it and then just beat it unmercifully. <laughs> That's right. Chastise that center. Okay. Now, with a clean brush, we're going to grab some of this dark brownish color here for the trees. So let's load up that brush with the burnt offering. Okay. We'll get that color there. That's what this world wants. So let's go on and give it up. Okay. Just gently tapping on the canvas, putting some brooding forest in the background. There you go. There we go. That's it. Gently tapping. I get some more paint here. Okay. That's right. Now, as many trees as you want in your painting, though I know exactly how many exist in this one true landscape. Okay. All right. That's great. Excellent. Yep. Now let's let's create a misty effect. All right. A little mystical fog on the ground here. Yep, we're going to grab some more spectral white. Uh-huh. Yep. That's wonderful. And just tap, tap, tapping. Let's push. There you go. That's right. All right. Yep. Tap, tap, tap. 
tapping, we can create a, a foggy, misty effect. Ah, try push it right on there. Okay. Yep. Including the ancient creatures that roam the woods beyond. You know, they don't need to pop their heads out just yet. No. <laughs> Be careful if they do, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Now. Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. Now, here comes the clearing. Okay. It's going to be a sacred place with some uh, some little bushes and some trees. But most importantly, this, this rock outcropping here. Okay. Let's, um... That's right. Yeah, let's mix this despair gray and the burnt offering right here on the palette. And we'll use our knife to outline the shape of this rectangular stone table. Hey kids, are you tired of playing with dull knives? Well, I've got the answer. The Lil Buddy Blaster is the sharpest knife you'll ever use. It's a full tan carbon steel blade. The sheath has a sharpening stone right on it, and the handle is made from fossilized Tyrannosaurus Rex bones. Apex Predator Alert! Whether you're performing a complicated ritual or gutting a trout like it's your enemy, this knife will be one of the only knives you'll ever need. Call the number on your screen and order in the next 15 minutes to receive a free satchel of sulfur powder, just in case you nicked yourself. Remember to get your parents' permission if you're under 7 years old. Call now. 1-800-CUT-KNIFE. That's C-U-T-K-N-I-F. And leave off the last E for excellence. Oh, what a beautiful and dangerous piece of work this is. It's looking really good. All right, there you go. Little sides there. All right. Okay, now grab some of the despair gray and the spectral white and create some little highlights on the edge and really, really make it stand out. Oh, yeah. That's great. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to etch the runes into the table now. So we'll need a fine liner brush and a little paint thinner here to make some really fine markings here on the altar. All right, you want to use the void black paint, nice and thin, to make those lovely little sigils here on the altar. Somebody scratched at my door there. All right, there we go. Got to get those details just right. Okay, there's this other marking. Now you all heard of sacred geometry. I guess there's some, if you do things in just the right way, just the right Order. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Magic and science, you know, just just doing things and putting things in a certain a certain way, a certain recipe, and take the nature, natural things in this world, and turn them around. You know, just a little lead and some acid and a little water, and you got a battery. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, there we go. Now, wonderful. All right, how about how about a path now, leading up to the the clearing? Okay, let's grab some. Let's grab some misery green. That's right, misery green here, right on the brush, and some rage yellow, and mix them right here on our little hatchet brush, and we'll we'll zigzag. There you go. Zigzag right from the edge of the clearing and make it wander right off the painting. Who knows who knows where it goes? Yeah. Maybe off into a pasture or up to a residence of some kind. Maybe there's some critters that live here in the forest too, you know. Maybe some hungry foxes live here in these woods. Maybe even a big old groundhog. <laughs> You know, I heard a story once about a guy who owned a piece of property and was inhabited by some feisty foxes and a giant groundhog. <laughs> a fellow named the groundhog Admiral Montgomery Scott. That was a heck of a story. I love that one. Okay. All right. Yep, we're almost done here. 
Marfum. Now look, you're going to grab that inky color on your liner brush, okay? Grab it again and use that void black to make a circle right here on the ground. Oh, that's good. Yep, it'll look like a rabbit hole, only a little bigger and a little deeper. That's right. Now, you dip that brush into every single color in our painting. That's right. Dip a tiny bit of each color on the brush. Don't mix them. Nope. Don't mix them. Let's let them marble up there. That's right. That's what we call the rainbow of chaos. Now, you swirl that rainbow down in the hole. There you go. Swirl it on down there. As if all of creation's being sucked down into it. Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm. How's this looking in your world, huh? huh? I'm pretty darned happy on mine turning out. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now. Now. There's one more color I need, but it's not on the palette. Has to go into the hole, open the gate, and make it real. So, you see, you know, just every, just about every religion and philosophy and even modern science believes that there's a dark energy swirling in constant combat with the light. Right, so we're gonna, we're gonna really take this to the next level now. Now that we're ready, everything's in place. Listen, if you're the kind of viewer who uh, who likes to get uh, those trigger warnings, well, this is your warning. Consider yourselves warned. And uh, right here, I'm about to do a little self-harm and get my color. See the, the missing color? This life's blood red. And I need to get it from here only one way to oh, that's right oh yeah now let it get on the canvas there oh yeah alright now I have everything ready and now the void is about to be opened, and this canvas is truly a living canvas. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed poking a tiny peephole into the fabric of sanity and setting the light bearer free, then you won't want to miss next week's episode. The dead rise from their graves because the infernal pit is just too darn full. Thanks again, and paint you later on Living Canvas. This episode was created and conceived and performed entirely by Owen McEwen. The music that you hear was assembled in GarageBand. Thanks for listening, and please listen to the other 11th Hour Audio Challenges. Enjoy your World Audio Drama Day. Oh, and Happy Halloween. Apex Predator Alert! Talmur, Sheshin Mugachi. Talmur is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My grand says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready, for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Rob Benedict. And I am Richard Spate. We were both on a little show you might know called Supernatural. It had a pretty good run, 15 seasons, 327 episodes. And though we have seen, of course, every episode many times, we figured, hey, now that we're wrapped, let's watch it all again. And we can't do that alone. So we're inviting the cast and crew that made the show along for the ride. 
We've got writers, producers, composers, directors, and we'll of course have some actors on as well, including some certain guys that played some certain pretty iconic brothers. It was kind of a little bit of a left field choice in the best way possible. The note from Kripke was, he's great, we love him, but we're looking for like a really intelligent Duchovny type. With 15 seasons to explore, it's going to be the road trip of several lifetimes. So please join us and subscribe to Supernatural then and now.